Welcome back to my channel, everybody, and welcome if you're new here. Today it's going to be another What Eat on My WW Blue Plan, and of course, if they are different for the different plans, I will post those plan points as well. Um, it's been a long time. Honestly, me and my husband have just been really busy with a new business and everything, so I've been off and on with WW and eating really bad, but that's okay. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and do a What Eat in a Day. I am on my lunch break, I'm starving, so I'm gonna go make lunch. Um, I've been really craving, uh, what is that called? Everything bagel, uh, bagels. Everything bagel, bagels. I've been really craving everything bagels, so I'm going to make that for lunch today and some runny eggs. Um, and then I'm probably gonna see you guys after I'm done work. Um, I'm probably not gonna hop on before I leave for work because I'm in a little bit of a rush today. But um, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing like a little Epicure haul. So if you guys like Epicure or if you guys are looking for some new low point, low sodium spices, just stay tuned. But anyways, just thought I'd pop on here. I'm alive. Um, I'm hoping to be back into the swing of things and film more. So anyways, I'm starving. I'm going to go eat lunch and then we'll see you guys back later. So I have my lunch ready. I cannot wait to dig in. It smells delicious. I have a toasted everything bagel, which I've been craving for for like a week. Um, so seven points for that, one points worth of guacamole on there, zero points for two eggs. Um, and then I have some tomatoes for zero points. And then I have some turkey sausage for two points. So all together, this is 10 points. Um, I also wanted to show you what I have on top of my tomatoes and eggs. I have the Epicure everything bagel seasoning. Um, the focus really sucks, one sec. There's actually chia seeds, sesame seeds, onion, garlic. Um, so there's some good benefits for, from the chia seeds. Um, it is zero points. Well, I count zero points for it. Um, there is, let's see here. So for one tablespoon, there's 45 calories in there, but that's accounting for like the onion, the garlic, the chia seeds. So literally the amount that I have on there, I count zero points. And then of course on my eggs, um, I have the CCB, which is cheese, chives, and bacon. I count zero points for this as well. That's the nutrition facts. Literally so good on eggs. Um, I am hosting an Epicure party for the rest of this month. I will post the links. Um, I probably will talk about this during my video anyways. I'll do a haul, um, but all the links will be posted below. Um, and there will be separate links for Canadian and US residents. So anyways, I've been dying to do this. I want to see this runny egg. Look at that. Come on. There you go. I don't know what it is, guys, but I love runny eggs. So I'm going to eat my 10-point lunch, and we'll see you guys back later. I'm back home from work. I just changed into my pajamas. Um, I wanted to fill you guys in on what I had at work. I had an orange. Um, I also had some water. And then I came home and I had some um, fruit. I had some strawberries, uh, cantaloupe, wa not watermelon, honeydew, and pineapple. Um, and then before I left for work, um, I was gonna pop on here and let you guys know that my lunch was actually 11 points. I actually had three points worth of turkey sausage, so I'm sitting at 11 points for the day. Um, dinner is cooking right now. I'm cooking this crispy and crunchy lettuce wrap and I can't wait. So I figured I would do it today, um, make it today and then do like a taste test. So um, I'm excited to have that. The lighting is horrible. Let's try to fix that. That's better. Okay. Um, anyways, um, so this is what I'm having for dinner and then I wanted to show you guys what um, other things I got through Epicure. So when you look on the back of these, it tells you prepared and unprepared. The prepared version is with like whatever it tells you in the ingredients. Like it might be, well this one for instance is um, ground pork but I'm using um, extra lean ground chicken so it's going to be less points so what I do is I just take the dry mix um, and then kind of determine points through that and then whatever I add myself so a quarter package of this just for the mix is 20 um, calories I don't know the points I think it's going to be like one point but very low and you can just work WW around it um, I got this wintry mushroom soup this is mainly for my husband but the dry mix is 35 calories and that's a quarter package as well um, and then prepared is 210 but like I said that's going to be with like milk and stuff um, I wanted to try this for my um, mushroom chicken instead of using like a canned mushroom soup because I mean I have canned mushroom soup all the time or canned soup it's not the healthiest for me but I still have it but I figured I'd just try this it's like 
a little bit more healthier for you. And the thing I love about Epicure is there's no MSG, gluten-free, and the sodium's pretty low, and most of their items are definitely WW friendly. Um, the next one is a Shepherd's Pie Mix. This one's 45 calories for a quarter of the package, or quarter of the dry mix. Um, I'm excited to use this because the, th the ones I found downtown are just, I don't really like the flavor, so I'm excited to try that. This one I'm excited to try as well as the mac and cheese. Um, a quarter of the package dry mix is 50 calories prepared is 260 and that's one cup. And that's actually not that bad, I don't think. Like I said, Epicure is a little bit more on the healthier side instead of like getting like a boxed mac and cheese. Like don't get me wrong, I still eat boxed mac and cheese, but I just wanted to try something on the healthier side. And then I was also thinking of using my Fiber Gourmet um, macaroni noodles with this, so I'm excited to try that. I got some pulled chicken. This is great to literally just throw chicken breast in the crock pot, put the spice on and just let it sit for like, or let it cook for like four hours and it's delicious. Um, this one is five calories for a sixteenth of the package, but when I cook this, I don't count points because chicken breast is zero for me and the amount that I use of this is not that much. I'm getting confused. I don't think I've tried the pulled chicken. It's the pulled pork I've tried. So um, this is delicious. One twentieth of the package is 10 um, calories and then if you prepare it, about half a cup is 180. But again, that's with like boneless pork shoulder, brown sugar, vinegar, ketchup, whatever. Um, but my mom made this once and it's delicious. Um, you can still make it WW friendly, you know, have it bunless or just have it with coleslaw, but it's delicious. Um, and then this is new to me. It is the Nourish Broth. I've been cooking my rice in just like chicken broth and it's given a lot of flavor. So I figured I would just buy this and then add it to my water while I cook my rice. And then I figured I can use it for like anything that would be in place of chicken stock. Chicken stock does have a lot of sodium and this one has still like a fair amount but where is it sodium is 85 milligrams for one and a half teaspoons so anyways i just figured i'd give that a try um i picked up the herb and garlic dip mix guys this is delicious on anything on veggies um on pizza uh, eggs and then it's also really good as the dip so what you do is you combine three tablespoons of dip mix into one cup of mayo and sour and one cup of sour cream or you can use yogurt you can definitely make it ww friendly if you wanted to make just like a little dip for yourself you could just use non-fat plain greek yogurt um it's literally three calories for half a teaspoon i don't count points ever but so good one of my favorites and then I had to pick up my favorite CCB, which is cheese, chives, and bacon. Seriously so good on like anything. I love it on eggs. I love it on like in my pasta. Like I'll make a healthier pasta carbonara and like I'll use this. So much flavor. Again, it's good as a dip or alone. Um, I got two of these because I go through them a lot. Um, so this is like one of my favorites. I need to like have this in my pantry. I hadn't had it in like a week I think a week or two and um, I was going crazy so this is definitely a staple and last but not least I picked up this Asian stir-fry seasoning I haven't tried this yet it's new to me um, I really like the Gossamo one they had I can't pronounce it but if I can find a picture I'll post it here and they discontinued it so I'm gonna try this Asian stir-fry one and there is um, sesame seeds garlic spices onion lemon red bell pepper orange herbs cayenne pepper so I'm excited to try that I am hosting a party up until the end of the month I will leave the links down below um, there's separate ones for Canadian residents and separate ones for us so um, again I'll leave those down below I'm going to cook dinner because I'm starving but before I leave I want to know if you guys have ever tried Epicure and what your favorites are and if you guys want to see a video on like my favorites um, I'll do that for you guys as well um, definitely the everything bagel seasoning is like top like it's hard to pick because I love the CCB so much like I have like a lot of top favorites but anyways I just would like to know down below what you guys like and what you use the Epicure stuff for but I'm gonna cook dinner starving like I said so I'll see you guys back later so here is my dinner I have the crispy and crunchy lettuce wrap I wish I would have found the actual like lettuce wraps that I usually see at the store like it literally they look like this but I couldn't so 
It's not very appealing, but it smells delicious. Like extra lean ground chicken. I thought I grabbed the extra lean ground chicken breast, but I didn't. If I did, it would have been zero for the chicken breast, but I'm counting two points for the extra lean ground chicken, um, one point for the mix, and then there's a teaspoon of sesame oil in the whole thing. So I'm just gonna count one point for the mix and the sesame oil. Um, I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. One thing I wish I would've done was put more red bell pepper just for a little bit more bulk. This whole dinner is only gonna be three points. It smells delicious, I cannot wait to try it. I also put some sriracha on top of there and added some minced garlic into there as well. Um, so I'm gonna turn you guys around and do like a little taste test. All right, so please excuse the mess in the background, but I was just doing dishes and those are the ones that are left. Anyways, Let's give this a try. It literally, guys, it smells so good. It makes, that pack makes like four big wraps, um, but obviously I made smaller ones, so. Mmm. Spicy. I added sriracha, like I said. So I'm not too sure if it's the sriracha adding spice or if it was spicy and that's just, it's even more spicier now that I have sriracha. So maybe it has a little bit of kick to it. I like spice though, so I'm all for that. Um, I also had green onions sitting on the counter. I forgot. I'm too lazy to put them on, so. Mmm. That's really good. I think my husband will really like these. They're just really hard to eat. Lettuce wraps are always hard to eat, but that's fine. Um, and I think it would taste really good with pork, but I'm trying to stay on track, trying to save my points for things that, you know, I want like popcorn. So anyways, I'm going to finish eating this. This will put me at 14 points for the day, which I'm gonna have a lot of points for snack time. So stay tuned to see what I have for snack time. And I'll see you guys when I'm done eating this delicious dinner. Guys, I'm having a quick snack before my popcorn and I wanted to show you what I was having before it melts. So I have one of these lifestyle shortcakes, no sugar added, one point. And then I take some Cool Whip, I let it melt a bit. I put some fresh raspberries in there. I made like a raspberry, it's almost like an ice cream, honestly, it's really good. Um, and then I topped it off on there. So that's a two point snack. Um, it's melting, so I need to have that, but it will put me at 16 points for the day. Honestly, it's really good, a sweet treat, and it's low in points. So I'm gonna eat this, and then we'll see you guys back for popcorn time. All right guys, so here's my popcorn. I used 58 grams, I think, of um, kernels for five points. I also add a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter, in my popcorn kernels before it pops. And then while it's popping, it just like disperses through the whole popcorn. It's so good. Just a little bit of butter, so that's one point. And then I added some nutritional yeast for one point, my spray olive oil for zero points. And I'm also having this ice sparkling um, lemonade for zero points. My popcorn's only six points. That'll bring me to 23 points for the day. I'm gonna eat this and then I'll pop back on later. 